guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a remix or like a mashup in Audacity. And uh, there's a few things that you're going to want to do. And it, so let's say the song you want to do is Mask Off. Like mask Off, Instrumental. Well, first of all, of course, you're going to want to find a Mask Off Instrumental, which is fairly easy to find. You just can find one of those and grab it and then uh, you're gonna need to find the BPM of that song and there's some uh, well websites like this where you could just type in the name of the song future mask off press search and it'll come up with the BPM which is 150 and that's pretty helpful if you don't want to do that you want to do it yourself like if if you're using this and it sounds off I recommend just going here and then you can tap out to the beat and that should get you a pretty accurate most of the time at least if you can you know tap along to the beat then you should get a pretty good uh, pretty accurate BPM there so, and what I like to do with that is, once I have that, I add a little thing saying what the BPM is so that way I don't have to go back and check every time that I want to use that one. So I highly recommend doing that because it makes things so much easier. And you know, if you ever want to use that instrumental or acapella again, then you know, you just already know the BPM, you don't have to figure it out. And some of these, like if you use them a lot, you'll just end up memorizing the BPM anyway, so... But, um... You're also gonna need an acapella, which, for this... I'm going to be using Challenge Game, you know, Sweatpants acapella, which... Watching haters wonder why Gambino got the game, yeah. So, you can hear that. That might have been a bit loud, actually, so let me turn that down. But, um, so, and then we have the bad and bougie instrumental. Yeah, you, you get the point. And so, sweatpants, just... Let's see if this, uh... Yeah, so it's 80 BPM. I already know that one. I've used it a lot. So, yeah, that's 80. And I had 127 BPM listed for that. So, now all we have to do is kind of line up. Okay, not line up first. Um, we have to match up the BPMs. So, I very strongly suggest that you never take the higher one and match it to a lower BPM always take the lowest BPM and make it faster because if you take the faster one and make it slower it's going to sound really messed up let me just showcase that for you here we'll take the we'll take the band bougie which is 127 and I don't know I might have gone too fast effect and change tempo 127 BPM this is the song that the BPM of the Ben Bougie instrumental to 80 BPM, which is the BPM of the Sweatpants acapella. Click OK. It'll take a little bit. And now you can see it is stretched out and it's longer. So, but here's the thing if we listen to it. Yeah, that's, that's just terrible. Okay. That's just, no. <laughs> That's so bad. So, I'm gonna undo that. And we're gonna take sweatpants, change tempo. You know what? Before I do this, actually, I like to cut off this intro because it is just kind of annoying. And then I normally cut off the end too because that silence, I normally just cut it off. So. Then we'll go to effect, change tempo. Now 80 to 127. Hit okay. 
and you see it got a lot shorter because it's going to be faster now. So now what we want to do is most likely you're going to want to line it up with this, like the beat drop uh, when the bass comes in. And sometimes like with the sweatpants you might need to amplify it just so that way the instrumental doesn't overpower it too much. So we're going to zoom in. And it's really stupid. Okay. So now we need to line this up. So, I mean, it's not too bad. We just want these to kind of match up here. And then if we zoom out, you can see we want these things to be lined up. Like any particularly, like this here looks pretty good. And you know, we'll just take a listen, and if it sounds bad, we can always change it, so don't worry. I mean that sounds okay. See the problem is is when you have something that's 80 BPM and you're speeding it up all the way to 127, you're gonna have some problems. So I mean really the ideal way to do it is have BPMs that are as close to each other as possible so it doesn't sound all like sped up like like this one does. But sometimes you can't avoid it. Like if you really wanted to make this mashup, this is the only way it's you're gonna do it, so it doesn't sound like complete and utter crap. And you know, most of the time with a uh, like here, someone would, you know, cut the beat here. So then we just go to silence. So there you go, that's pretty much it. I, you know, I recommend it, like if you have something that is 80 BPM, I would suggest not doing, like matching it up with anything over like 120, but that's just me. I think it sounds too weird, but sometimes I don't care. Like I did this one just as kind of like an example, but you can do this with anything. Like, you know, some instrumentals have a BPM of like 180 and it's like not a lot that you can really add, like make a mash up with that. But, um, I mean, this isn't too bad. So, I mean, it's really it. And then, you know, Cut off this whole, <laughs> whole, uh, I mean, the band bougie instrumental is really long. Then we can just go to here, a little bit past here, and then effect, fade out, and that'll fade out into the. I don't give a fuck about my family name. So, I mean, pretty quick fade, but whatever. Um,. I mean, when you do stuff like this, it doesn't really have to be, like, super professional. Especially if you're doing it as kind of like a joke, like how I do. But, uh, here's another thing. If you can't find the acapella for the song that you're looking for, there isn't really any good way to make your own version, like, acapella. Really, I mean, like, there's some ways to do it on Audacity, but 
any way that I've tried it, it muddies up the whole thing. It makes quality go to crap, so I wouldn't even mess with it. Just, if you can't find it, you're out of luck, because that, that's pretty much how I take it, because there's no way that you're going to get it to actually sound good when you are cutting out a bunch of, you know, uh, like pitch levels and then it just sounds super like muffled the vocals do and it's just not good so I mean you can really do this with any thought any excuse me any song uh, any two songs if you want uh, let me just grab an example and it, just so you know it doesn't even have to be an acapella I'll tell you that right now because like it, you can do a theme song that doesn't have any uh, vocals with an instrumental if you want. Like I did a, I have one where it's the Beavis and Butthead theme with <laughs> with Magnolia. So here's that. tell that like it's really easy to just make a bunch of these and just kind of turn them out especially when you kind of get the hang of this whole BPM thing and lining it up some songs I will tell you this some songs uh, the, it, like the beat when you line it up it'll and listen to it it'll seem like it looks like it will be fine and then you listen to it and it just sounds really bad like it's off Sometimes it's like, for some reason, these instrumentals, you, you kind of have to have the acapella a bit off of beat and then have it start. And it just, it looks really weird. Like it wouldn't sound good, but then it actually sounds better. I don't get it. But that's happened to me a couple times. So I just wanted to tell you guys that. And that is pretty much it. Just then you would go ahead and export and I don't know, sweatpants, and in sweatpants, sure, and then there you go, okay, okay, and then export, and then next thing you know, you can upload it on SoundCloud and put whatever picture you want for the song art, you know, I don't care, but uh, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you guys have a great day, and hopefully you guys can make some pretty cool stuff. See you guys later.